Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a minute since I've made a video. I just got back uh, from home from work. Uh, so in today's video, the first thing we're going to do is some uh, much needed renovation on the F-150. As you can kind of see here, all this has been oxidized on these nice Morimoto headlights. Uh, and the same on the right side. And you can kind of hear it even in the touch. So what we're going to do today is revitalize this, sand this down, buff this back out to make it look brand new in preparation for putting in the brand new Morimoto tail lights on the F-150. Stay tuned. All right, so for uh, the restoration, uh, you're gonna need a microfiber towel to wipe away the, um, the compound once you finish buffing it on there. Uh, you can use water. Um, I like to use that or some type of liquid to provide some um, lubrication to the surface. I just use detail spray uh, and then a couple different grades of uh, sandpaper. Uh, this is all like finer sandpaper, if you will. Uh, I just picked up from AutoZone, but as far as the grits. So I'm starting at 800 uh, and then 1,000, 1,500, and then stopping at 2,000. And this is what it looks like. I have all these sheets are just kind of halved, so I'd have some for the left side. And I'd have some for the right side. And then the last thing, uh, you can use wax, maybe like a ceramic wax, um, but I'm just using this fine uh, gloss just because I have some left over from my Roots polisher that I have. Um, so I'm just gonna utilize that for the final uh, touch, just to gloss everything back up and that's it. Um, so let me set you guys up and we'll get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do, I already cleaned my headlight. Uh, so now I'm just gonna utilize the spray and the 800 grit sandpaper. Go ahead and wet this up pretty good. And then start. Being careful not to hit the paint. You can kind of already see the oxidation, all that yellow. I'm gonna fold this again, just to get a little bit more control over this area so I don't hit the paint. Same thing, folding again for this bottom area down here. All right, that's that for the 800. I'm gonna clean all this off. And you should have the same scuff marks kind of all the way around the headlight. So now I'm noticing there's certain places that don't look the same. So I'm just gonna flip over my sandpaper and kind of focus on these areas a little bit more. I know it looks kind of crappy. It might be a little scary. Cause you think you probably messed up your, your headlights for good, but it will all come back. All right, it looks about the same throughout. All very smooth to the touch. I'm gonna fix this area down here a little bit more. And again, this first step of trying to get everything on the same level is uh, pretty important. So just take your time, make sure everything kind of looks the same. The scuff marks should be the same throughout the entire headlight. All right, so now it looks pretty awful all the way around, which is good, that's what you want. <laughs> and now we're gonna start working our way back. So uh, you'll see me hit the 1000 grit. I'll take a pause, I'll do the 1500, and then I'll do the 2000.
Alright, looking good, looking good. Alright, next will be the 1500 grit. If you're concerned about hitting the inside of your paint or your trim, just rest your finger on the inside of your headlight right here and keep the uh -oh, sandpaper on the other side. And it should help as a little buffer just to give you a little peace of mind. All right, last little bit will be the 2000 grit sandpaper. All right, and the last step, guys, is taking your polisher. Again, this is the Rupes polisher. Uh, it's handheld Bigfoot, uh, but you can also do this with a drill. A lot of the little kits you can get from AutoZone or O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto Parts, they'll all have like a little a drill attachment you can get with just, just a buffer pad, which just helps you kind of getting through the job faster versus hand polishing. Uh, I reckon you could probably do this uh, by hand. It would just take a little bit longer. Uh, so what you'll see me do is kind of just put a little bit of detailer on the pad itself. Uh, I usually do this every time I'm like uh, doing any of my vehicles, paint correction, just to soften up the pad a little bit. And then apply your, uh, your correction polish. I used a little bit too much, but I'll just spread it around. And then start working yourself around. I'll do this at a low power setting first to kind of come all over the um, headlight. And then I'll kind of boost it up and add a little bit more uh, compound to it as well just kind of help buff it out so here we go again i'll stop real quick just to explain something else too so like I'm very confident with my polisher. Um, if you were worried about your trim panels, like I'll just quickly put some detail spray on here and get rid of that so it won't stain your, your trim. Uh, but if you're using a drill, uh, you might want to tape off some of the other panels in your car if you're worried about scratching them. Uh, that way you can just keep going and focusing on um, your your polisher and not worried about really hitting the rest of your panels. Um, but like I said, like I'm, I'm very comfortable with this. I've used this a lot. Um, so I kind of know the pattern making sure I won't hit the um, the edge of this against the trim and kind of scratch or nick anything. Uh, so if you're not confident in your abilities or your abilities or your polisher that you're using, uh, please take some extra precautions. Uh, you could remove trim panels. You could take out your whole headlight assembly and just do it off the vehicle. That's an option as well, and that would eliminate any concern of doing any of this. Um, I'm just not going to go that far. I'm not really concerned about, again, damaging my own vehicle. Just wanted to add that disclaimer in there. All right, guys, this looks pretty awesome. It looks just like it was brand new. Uh, the only issues I see looking at this, uh, there's still some residual sanding marks down here on this side. And I need to hit this area again, put a little bit more focus on that. 
same thing with down here. So just really the edges end up in this corner. Uh, and right here. So just take your time, look at your headline, see what areas need to have a little bit more love. All right, guys, so this is what the headlight looks like. I mean, it literally looks brand new. I'm very uh, pleased <laughs> with the process. There's still a little bit of haze marks. Um, so what I'm gonna do as well too, just cause I have some leftover polish, I'm gonna utilize this and just go back over the headlight just to try to shine it up a little bit more uh, and try to get that out. Uh, so I'll probably go back over it probably one more time with the compound and then I'm gonna utilize, utilize this wax just to put over it just to try to help seal it and stop it from oxidizing anymore or at least as quickly as it did last time so that's it guys this is what your headlight should look like if not better if you're better than me and again this is that crud that you can kind of see and feel on the old headlight hey guys so just one addition um this is the other headlight finished and this is the original one I started on. Uh, just some points. I think I should come and point out to you guys to make sure you guys don't have any issues. You get the same results. So instead of the roof stuff, I just use this. And you can find this at AutoZone, uh, Meguiar's compound. So I went over back with this over the headlight. And then I finished it off with uh, some ceramic wax just to hopefully stop the oxidation or stop it from happening again so fast. Uh, and then I went over it again. Uh, but it looks phenomenal it looks great truck is back to looking like a beast and honestly it looks new again at least from the headlights perspective um, but hope this helps so thanks for joining for today's video uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one uh, we have some more emoto tail lights to put on the f-150 so that's what we'll be doing next take it easy see y'all